What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a huge transformation. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock down everything he has on top and including the beard. So my client comes about two times a year so we definitely have to give him a haircut that's gonna last him quite a bit of time just to give him enough time to kind of grow it out in between stages. But my client does want a number two all the way around on top and he wants like a high to mid fade on the sides and he is going to do a number three on the beard. So the clipper I'm using right now is the Stylecraft Instinct Clipper and I wanna tell you guys that this clipper is super strong. These are actually better than the detachable clippers that I have to be honest with you guys. It's just the power that they have behind them makes it super easy to knock down any type of bulk and regardless like this my client's hair is super thick so for them to just completely um knock it all down that's just super impressive to me and i actually really do like this clipper So now here I'm gonna have my number three guard attached to my clipper and I'm just gonna be going in throughout his entire beard, just knocking everything down to the number three. All right, now to begin the fade, I have my Stylecraft Instinct Trimmer, and I'm gonna go ahead and set in my first initial bald guideline. This is gonna be a mid to high fade, so I'm gonna start off at the, at the end of his lineup, and then I'm gonna go all the way across, nice straight line, and uh, just to debulk all the area and create the bald guideline. So now here I'm going in with my shaver, my Stylecraft Rebel shaver, just to go in and knock out any of the stubble that was left from the trimmer. Now when I'm doing this, I'm not going directly all the way up to the line. Um, I want to leave a little bit of a gap, maybe like a quarter of an inch gap. That way I'm able to go with the grain, with the shaver, just to help the transition process. Okay, now to begin the fade, I'm switching back over to my clipper and I'm starting with the lever at the all the way open position. That's the longest possible guide that you could use without the guard. I'm gonna be going up to create a new guideline by going up about an inch. And when I'm doing this, I'm really making sure that I'm flicking up and trying not to create such a hard line. So now I'm gonna be working on removing the bottom line completely. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and close my lever all the way. And then I'm actually gonna be using every single notch. So I'm starting with the lever all the way closed and I'm gonna be flicking up about quarter of an inch all the way up. And it's very important to me, like when I'm doing these steps, I definitely do not wanna be pressing down super hard just because the, the, uh, the lighter you are with it, uh, you're gonna create not such a hard line and it's going to be easier to blend out every single line that you guys are making. Now here I attach my number one guard to my clipper and once again starting with the lever at the all the way open position, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new guideline going up about another inch. So 
So now I'm using my half guard and once again, starting with the lever at the all the way open position, I'm gonna start to down fade. So what that means is I'm gonna go just below my previous step, which I use the number one guard all the way open. And I'm gonna just be flicking out right underneath that line. And then once I finish with that, I'm gonna be closing my lever to the halfway position. And once again, just uh, making sure that I'm staying underneath the previous step, uh, just to start to uh, lightly fade out the bottom line. Now here I have my lever all the way closed and really I'm just using the corner of the blade just to knock out any imperfection that I see at the very bottom part of the line. Now using a one and a half guard attached to the clipper with the lever all the way closed, this is basically going to blend out any um, imperfection that you see at the very top, blending in the, the fade to the number two guard on top. So now to blend in the beard, I'm gonna be using the exact same steps I use for the fade, except blending downwards. Now for the mustache, I always like to uh, trim down the mustache with the one guard open, making it a one and a half. I just feel like this is a good length uh, to where it still looks pretty full, but you could get a really nice, clean, sharp line. So now I'm switching over to my Stylecraft Flex Trimmer. These, I have them pretty sharp to where these are strictly only for lining up. I definitely can't really uh, bald out a complete head with these just because they are really sharp. That's why in a lot of my videos you usually see me having two pairs of trimmers. But when I'm lining the beard I always like to start off in this part right here, make a nice straight line and then I'm going to be working my way over to the mustache area starting off at the bottom of the mustache just cleaning it up a little bit right above the lip. Once again, just trying to make it as sharp as possible without digging in way too much. Now when, I, when I'm dealing with lining up the top of the beard, I always like to take a step back and kind of see exactly where the fullest part of the beard is. I always like to go ahead and line it up at that point because if you do it right there it's usually the the um where you're gonna get the nicest and cleanest line but of course you always want to double check with your client to make sure that that is a position where they want their line to be set So now for the front hairline, I always like to start off right there in the middle. I always like to work my way over to one side, try to, trying to keep it as natural as possible. And really when I'm working my way over to one side, I'm keeping in mind where the corner of his lineup is going to be because I definitely do not want to push it back too far. But when I get to doing the sideline, I always like to set my trimmer to where it's going to be in a 90 degree angle from the very top of his hairline. That's what's going to get you that perfect lineup look. Now 
Now here I'm gonna be going in and cleaning up his eyebrows, lining them up, just because they were super bushy and I thought that they could be cleaned up. Alright you guys, so we're getting to the end of the haircut. Let me remind you guys how my client came in. This is the before and he was in desperate need of a haircut. And now this is the after. I hope you guys liked this. If you guys did, feel free to smash that thumbs up. Also leave your guys' comments in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to purchase any of the tools and equipment I use inside this video, the links will be down in the description down below. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have a blessed day and then I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.